So the plan today is to jump into Content Manager or Manage Content and find some of the more high quality content that you can use in your routes. So uh, first of all, you'll want to load up trains, get the launcher there and go to manage content. Uh, this will bring up the trains content window, make that bigger. And then we've got a filter at the top here that has installed. So this shows you any content that you actually have installed currently. So what we want to do is you're, hap you're welcome to use any of this content in here that uh, isn't payware in your routes. But if you can't find the thing that you want, uh, you can go and have a look on the download station which has uh, over 300,000 assets for you to freely use. Uh, so if we filter on the download station and we drop this filter down, you'll find that uh, there's a bunch of components to this filter. So on download station is true. Installed is false, so we don't actually have the asset installed. Uh, out of date is false. These are a couple of uh, a few little ones that add a little bit more filtering for you. Out of date is false, so it's uh, it's up to date. It's using the one of the current versions of trains that uh, we don't identify as being out of date. Uh, obsolete means it's not an old version. You're going to get the latest version listed here because uh, Cuid's as as you can see here, this Cuid two is version two. Uh, so if we had that as false, then all the versions would come up and we don't really want that. We just want the latest one because we know that the latest one is going to work in, or most of the time is going to work in the, the latest version of trains. Uh, and payware is false. We don't want to list any payware because there's no point. We can't use it unless we buy it. So uh, we can add some additional filters to that. That's a nice handy default filter. But... Today I'm looking for, uh, say, some new trees that I want to put in my route. And uh, so what I'd do is I'd click on the little add button and we drop this down. So it's automatically added category, which is great. So if we, we can choose any of these things to filter on, but category is a good one. We'll click on that one because it gives us a bunch of options that we might want to filter on. So if we want... Uh, you know, if we want some, uh, where are we, locomotives, click on here, and it lists all the locomotives available for download. Uh, we might want their tenders, so we might go to train tender, it lists all the train tenders that are available to download for free. So we want, uh, we do want scen uh, scenery, which is where our trees will sit. But I mean, you've got industries, you've got... Uh, people, rolling stock, you know, you can select any of these and it'll filter it uh, a little bit easier for you. So what we'll do is we'll we'll click on scenery and then you've got your little search bar at the top here. So we'll search on uh, tree and if people haven't put tree in the name or in the keywords then you're not really going to find that it'll show up in your listing because you've typed in tree. So you might want to, if you've got a bit of time, take out that and you can go through it manually and have a look and you can you can actually click on the uh, name or status or installation date or the upload date is quite good as well because you know that anything that's uh, recent is usually going to work in the latest version of trains not always people might still be using an old version but uh, it should because uh, it doesn't allow you to actually upload the content unless it's uh, version 3.5 or higher at the moment so you're going to find that all this new stuff is going to work in trains so that's a good idea is to always filter on the, the latest date if you're kind of randomly looking for something to download that's uh, in the ballpark of what you want so there's there's a specific thing I might want to find which is a tree so there's a, there's a lot of scenery stuff in here and I, I only want the tree or the trees that uh, uh, update. So we type in tree. We still have it filtered on the update, uh, upload date, which says, you know, this one was uploaded in 2006, and there's a lot of stuff in 2005. So, you know, let's download uh, one of these ones. So these are tree trunks, grill zero. I'm not quite sure which, what that one is, but we're 
going to download it and find out. So you'll see that'll start downloading in a second and then it will disappear out of this listing because we've got install false. So instead of changing this to true and having to swap back and forth between these because that's now going to disappear, what we'll do is we'll open another content window and we'll just leave it on installed and we'll filter on the installation date so it's always going to show at the top for us. So now we've got our download window here and we've got our installed uh, window here and we can always see what we're currently installing. So if we right click on that now to preview it, instead of having to go into trains and put it into surveyor we can just simply right click and preview asset and that's what our asset will look like. Uh, it's it's a tree trunk, sawn off tree trunk. Uh, wasn't what I was expecting but there you go. So, you know, if you want it, use it. If you don't, you can delete it just to save a bit of space. You can keep it installed. It's totally up to you. And then that will pop it back onto this list again because I've uninstalled it. So we minimize that. We don't need that one. That's told us it's installed. So going down, having a look and seeing uh, all the listings that come under tree, you'll start to, to know some of the people that make some of the content that you like. Uh, for instance, these are uh, from us, so I definitely know what these ones are, but um, they're pretty good quality if you wanted to use them in your routes, the trees that we've, we've made over the years. Uh, but it's totally up to you what you, what you want to use, but the way you do it is you'll right click, you'll download this specific item, it'll load up and you're better off previewing it. If you're happy with it, keep it, use it. If you're not, then you can easily delete it. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of an understanding of how to use the download station uh, to download some assets and preview them before you actually go ahead and use them. So it's a bit of a quicker method of trying to find the assets you want. Now the other thing is if you don't want to go through the, the process of uh, downloading and previewing, you can actually use thumbnails in Content Manager as well or Trains Content. It doesn't give you this nice big list uh, and you don't get these options to filter so there's, there are methods like uh, what we're using now to get through the list a lot quicker but the other thing is you, you can get um, the thumbnails as well so if we close these ones down we go into trains settings and under general you'll find manage content as thumbnails so we tick that and then we load up manage content again you'll see now all your installed content has thumbnails next to it and also just make that a bit bigger uh, you'll also see that you can't filter on anything besides the search uh, you can't click on the name or the status or the upload date or anything because that doesn't show but you still get the ability to use lots of filters so uh, you can somewhat do that in via your filters so if we go to uh, download station, drop that down. We then add the category uh, scenery, type in tree. And now we start to see uh, everything or the thumbnails for everything that's listed as tree 